in genetics whenever there is this chromosomes are there they are at the damage they have the point mutation they have the bisense mutation they have various mutations are there which can lead to the decrease or absence of globin chain chromosome number 11 has beta globin chain chromosome number 16 has alpha globin so depending upon what mutation they have on which chromosome they have it can be alpha or it can be beta thalassemia so considering this let's go to the ineffective erythropoiesis that is what the problem usually it is normal hemoglobin contains four chains alpha and beta and that is why normal hemoglobin looks like this where they have two uh, four actually iron molecules two arsen two might be on the other side so it looks like four iron molecules and four globin chain but whenever there is thalassemia the beta chains are reduced let's talk about beta globin so when beta chains are reduced beta thalassemia the alpha chains are there which are unmatched they remain inside the bone marrow if they are matched the rbcs will be completely formed and released into the blood but if the balance is not satisfied two alpha two beta and then unbalanced alpha chains get deposited that leads to the ineffective erythropoiesis and various manifestations like anemia bone disease bone changes stunting of growth all those manifestations are because of the deposition of this unbalanced or unmatched alpha chains that is how it occurs so beta thalassemia is a common disorder in our country which is actually most common cause though it is chromosome number 11 though it is point mutation we all know but actual most common cause for beta thalassemia is unawareness if you are not aware about the disease your family might get the thalassemia because it is a inherited disorder it comes from parents because of the genetic change if the parents are alpha thalass beta thalassemia minor chances if both the parents are beta thalassemia minor so both the parents are minor then chances are 25% that baby may be born with the thalassemia major and just because we don't know our thalassemia status whether we are minor or not then baby is already born with thalassemia and then we start crying so our youth our doctors our medical medical fraternity our entire population needs to be aware about this in western world they made awareness drive they made sure that thalassemia minor knows their status and if they are pregnant then by doing the prenatal diagnosis they have reduced to the incidence of this beta thalassemia to the extent of 0% almost eliminated and that can happen only with the awareness that is why today we are here to make it aware prevent and treat these patients so this is how it goes if you have thalassemia minor which is the most common condition the second one where thalassemia chances are you are minor patient usually minor people usually don't have any symptoms they are just thalassemia minor like amitabh bachchan he is carrier of thalassemia so jaya bachchan doesn't have thalassemia minor amitabh bachchan son that is <coughs> abhishek bachchan is also normal <coughs> so whenever the two thalassemia minor ideally should not get married even if they get married there should not be a problem <coughs> they should know their status and whenever she is pregnant we must do the prenatal diagnosis at third or fourth month once we <clears throat> get the diagnosis that it is thalassemia major we can do the abortion if it is not thalassemia major which is the chance almost 75% we can carry on with the pregnancy and with that thalassemia born incidence will be less but just because of lack of awareness in india we have almost more than 10000 babies born with thalassemia every year 
and that is why there is need for other. 